Hey everyone, it's Lisa and happy Friday. I hope that you have had a good week. I know it's been a sad week and oh goodness, the sun just went down. It's just beautiful here today. But anyway, so I'm gonna show you the things that I got this week and then some, I've got some more artwork to show you and I think I am, I told John to get ready <laughs> to be hanging this weekend. And he said, oh yeah, we're gonna hang a few. I said, no, I wanna hang all of them because I want to get the house ready and then do a house tour. Well, just the things that I've redone. It's not gonna be anything over the top, but just some of you might like it. So, um, I'm gonna start off with Target. And I went there earlier in the week and um, I wanted to show you these, which it's nothing, you know, that big, but I, needed some new bathroom rugs and I love these. They're that Nate Burkus brand and these are the biggest ones and I like having white bath rugs. Um, I've had the colored ones before but I just kind of like having the white that just blends right in with my tile and everything. And another thing I like is to have ones that are cotton. Like I don't know what the actual, let's see what, 100% cotton because they're actually absorbent. Whereas those other fluffy ones aren't really absorbent. And also one of our favorite things we have ever bought has been that little um, remote vacuum cleaner. It's not the Roomba, it's another one that's cheaper and it is so good. It is one of the best things we have ever done. It, it Last night when I came home, I thought Brooke was drying her hair, but it was that little, what do we call him? Um, his, I think it's D-Bot or something, but we call him Debo. <laughs> And um, he was going around, John had John was vacuuming, but that will go over this type of rug. Um, this is basically what I have now, the last ones I got at Kohl's. But um, these are even prettier because they have that design. And then this is something, now that the girls at Target told me about this, I see, I saw Tammy having some stuff and I've seen several of you showing this brand but when i was in target i went down the like shower gel and aisle that they have all the dove soap and everything because i wanted to try that dove body scrub i, I saw it somewhere and i saw tammy had it on her empties and i asked the girls that were in the aisle stocking and she said that they didn't have it but she said this brand which is one of their new brands the beauty and planet she said sells out like crazy. And she said this was one of their best sellers. And it's the Sugar and Rose Peace and Glow Creamy Body Scrub. So I have had it out here to show you before I used it. So I haven't used it yet. And then one of you told me, you sent me a message and you told me that you loved their fragrance. So I went over and had to ask another girl where the fragrances were and the one that you told me to try, I can't remember, it was gardenia something. All of them were sold out. And so they did that thing with the little scan gun and told me that it was supposed to be there the next day. And But they weren't gonna put it out probably until three, which I can't go to Target at three because I'm on the way to get Will. But um, so I'm hoping maybe I can go today or probably next week and then try that. So. I just wanted to mention this because um, there's so much available in this line. Next time you're at Target, give it a try. Okay. Then this was, this really got to me so bad. I was sending out a package. Typically, John sends out all my packages through the post office, through um, the computer. Used to, I would go to the post office for my out of the country you know, packages. One, because my mailbox wasn't big enough. And two, oh, that's the dishwasher, sorry. Hold on just a second. I actually have the um, washing machine going too. And I don't think you'll hear that though. So, um, where was I before I was so rudely interrupted by the dishwasher? Oh my goodness. Okay. I know where it was now. Okay. But now, John does the customs forms online and I have a great big ugly mailbox. Tacky, one of those great big ones. But it really saves me a lot of time and I barely ever stop by my post office box anymore. And so the other day I had to go because John didn't print the label for me and I wanted to get a package out. And um, I decided, I thought, well, I'm gonna go ahead and check my post office box. There sat all your Christmas cards and 
you know, I think Christmas cards, some other things. No, I don't have any bills or anything sent there, so that's why I didn't really, I wasn't that worried about it. Um, my thing saying I needed to pay for six more months for the post office box thing was there. And then I had actually had a package from one of my subscribers, Teresa. And so I just wanted to show you a couple things that she sent me because she is the one that sends me the coolest things. Like one of my favorite things that she has sent me is um, a cat fashion book and a the towel that looks like a vintage is it a vogue catalog or a vogue magazine it's upstairs in my room over the garage my study or my office but um anyway so she sent me this which i'm going to put in my kitchen love it love the colors and i'm even trying to uh, our dishwasher is new and i don't even know why that thing goes off like that. Hold on just a second, okay? <laughs> I just got a little steam facial when I opened it up. I'm trying to, I opened it and pushed a couple buttons. So anyway, for some reason, I don't know why this has happened, but I am not fighting it and I am thankful. John has kind of taken over the dishwasher. And I think it's because um, he's got this thing about how the dishes smell. Like if he takes a glass out and it smells like it's been in the dishwasher, anyway. So then he started experimenting with all these different kinds of um, detergents and all the different cycles. And I think that kind of got him into it, but I am not fighting it. He can handle the dishwasher. Okay, so then she sent me this and I wanted to really show you this. I think it's so cool and I'm gonna put it either over here or over there, I'm not sure, but it is a bank and it says need new shoes, donations donations accepted here. And see how it's a real like little bank? I think that is so cool, I love it. I love just like different little things like this. And then you guys know how much I love like fashion books. She sent me this really cool book of fashion and I have seen this at Barnes and Noble because anytime I go, go in Barnes and Noble for anything, I go and look at all the different fashion books. There's some that are in like the how-to and then there's some over there in like the art section. So make sure you check both places. And um, so thank you so much, Teresa. I've told her thank you, but I wanted to share those things with you um, because they were so cool. Okay, yesterday, I my friend Amanda was working and so I went all the way back out to the Laura Mercier account, counter and several of you told me that you love the Laura Mercier foundation that I like so much. It's the long wear. Um, I can't remember what it's called right now, but it's one I have on. And I showed you last week I had it on, but it was the, the color was macadamia and it was too light. So many of you told me that you wear buff and that you're my same color. And buff is the one we were looking at before I chose macadamia. So I went back and I got buff and it's perfect. I have it on today. Um, I did use a new concealer to kind of, you know, brighten with. So it was a little bit darker, you know, on its own than maybe you're seeing, which I like because on days that I'm not making a video, I'm just running out the door and I'm just putting my foundation on and not really worried about highlighting and everything else. Um, I would just probably put that on, put some bronzer on and go. And it's my perfect shade. So buff is a good one. And then she gave me this. Okay, so it's called the Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Foundation. Well, now they're coming out with the Flawless Fusion. Sorry, I've got my new Invisalign on. I went and got my new set 18, 18 more weeks to perfect my teeth. Goodness gracious. So anyway, I've got new ones in. Um, so she gave me this card because they don't have it yet. And today I tried it and I used one in and oh, I like it. So I, it's that color right along with, you know, all the other ones that we like, the 1W Light and the Estee Lauder and the um, Light Medium, is it Light Medium? Medium Light in the Tarte Shape Tape. So as soon as they get this, I'm going to get it. And I might even, a lot of times Laura Mercier, her website really has good, you know, promotions and good free gifts and stuff like that. So um, I might go ahead and order it from there. So anyway, just wanted to tell you about that. Then I went to the Mac counter and something that's been bothering me a little bit is I don't like using things on my videos that you guys can't get. I just feel like it's not right because I hate it when I 
you know, I'll start watching somebody and I'll immediately look down to see what they're using and it's something that's discontinued or it's something that I can't get or whatever. I hate that. So um, I've been trying to find something else other than my Laura Mercier pressed classic beige. Now you could still use the loose, but that's really not what I want to do when I use this because what I like to do is put my foundation on and then I like to go over with that big Smashbox brush with the pressed powder and give a little bit more dimension. So I took it with me and I thought, you know, I'm gonna walk over to the MAC counter and see if there's any of the Studio Fix powder that might be, you know, comparable to that because I love that this gives a little extra coverage too. So Nikki was there and she helped me and we picked this, which is very, makes, perfect sense because it's the color that I, in my foundation that I use there, it's the NC35. And when you hold them up together, they don't look like the same color, but I used it today and it was just like, oh, I mean, this looks so good used that way. Just to kind of powder over the perimeter of your face and it gives you just a little bit of dimension, just a little bit more coverage on your cheeks and it allows you to wear a much thinner coat a much thinner layer of your foundation. Like in that YSL All Hours, I use one pump. In this, this foundation doesn't go quite as far. I think I used two. And so it doesn't really cover everything, but it gives me nice color, a nice kind of even finish, and then I can go in with this and it just adds that little bit more to make it extra yummy. So um, I really like this. Now I already use the NC 45, I think it is, as like a little bronzer. So it was perfect. Then I was thinking um, the other uh, Valentine's Day, I knew John and I were going out that night to, out to eat and stuff. And um, I was thinking, I'm gonna do my makeup, you know, really good, whatever. And I ended up using a palette that one of you had asked me about, which was the Visart, um, that big one I just got. And so I did like a lot of eye makeup and I just didn't like it. I think I go through, I know in the summer I like lighter eye makeup. So maybe it's just a natural transition for me. But lately I have just loved wearing one color, whether it be my Clinique Sunset Glow, I love that Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in the All Naturel and, um, or you know, just a one shadow color. And um, I always like the Bare Minerals for that too. So I asked what was a good one shadow look and she said soft brown. And I said, well, I've got that. I said, I just wish that soft brown came in. It's like I don't always want matte. I want kind of like a sheen when I do that. So she showed me this and it is so perfect. I've got it on today and um, I ended up still putting on more eye makeup than I wanted to. I get carried away, but that's what I have on my lids. And it's this, it is the, um, the sun's kind of going in and out. It is the Sweet Heat Extra Dimension Eyeshadow. And I love it. I think it's got the perfect amount of color. And I did pull out an oldie, but a goodie. I pulled out my NARS Baby Girl, the little pink shimmer that I like. And I did like the inner corner and I did pop just a little bit on the top of the lid, but actually I think it looked better without anything on the lid. It's just, sometimes when I'm doing videos, I just have, I'm having fun and I just get carried away. But, um, so please let me swatch it for you. Especially if you like my other choices of like Bare Minerals, um, Bare Skin, or the Clinique Sunset Glow, you're gonna love that. I mean, look at it. That is what I like. I think it is so pretty. And um, today I just have on like a brown liner, but it would even look good with black. It's a good one. So I'm gonna go put some of this stuff up and I'll be right back. Okay, now I think the last makeup item I have was a gift from Denise for Valentine's Day. She spoils me to, she spoils me rotten. Um, it's by Terry Game Lighter Palette. And oh, this is so pretty. There's one color, I haven't tried it yet because I just got it. This one color pink is, I can't wait to try it, but it's so cool. It has a brush in it and a mirror, but it's, let me just see if I can 
so cool how each color has a matte and a shimmer. So this would be very good for me too when I want to do just like the one eyeshadow look because I do usually like, if I do a matte on my lid, I like a little bit of shimmer on the inside just because my eyes are kind of deep set and I need to get in right there. So this looks so pretty. Um, like I said, I'm anxious to try that pink color right there. Sorry, I don't wanna blind you. But, um, so thank you so much to Denise. And a really cool taupe color. That, um, gosh, just some really good colors in there. A good bronzy. So maybe I'll do a tutorial with this. I'll try it and then do a tutorial this week. Okay. Last but not least, and I hope that I have not forgotten anything, I got my last pieces of art that I had coming, and this is an artist. He is so, you, you guys are going to love him. He's got the best personality. His girlfriend, Kathy, is a subscriber of mine, and I connected with them right when I was first really getting into doing my, redoing my decor and stuff. And I had asked you guys if you knew of any good artists because it was really important to me to really like everything, I mean, every single thing I have and I wanted it to be personal and I just unique. And so I ended up connecting with them and it was so easy working with them. Um, I looked at his art. He's got a website and an Instagram that I will put down below. And his name is Elliot Matisse. And he lives in New York, and he does the coolest vintage style artwork. And he sent me, you know, a picture. I'll, I'll show it to you. Hold on. He told me he was getting ready to start a new series of, um, like, Hollywood vintage style art. Um, men, women, just, you know, old Hollywood vintage. And he sent me a picture of one of his latest drawings, and this was it. Sophia Loren. And oh, I just was like, yes, that's perfect. That's exactly what I like. So this is a, you know, like a print of the original artwork. And he sent this to me as a gift with my artwork that he did, especially for me. I, he, it's commissioned for me is how he put it. So um, I wanted to show you this and um, I just love it. This is definitely going up somewhere. I'm not sure where. Um, this weekend, I'm going to do all of that, and oh, it's just beautiful. I mean, I love it. So that is one piece that I wanted to show you. Then, when I open the package, this is the card that he sent me. <laughs> is that not the cutest thing you have ever seen? I mean, right down to her little squiggly, wiry whiskers, which always crack us up. Her whiskers kind of go like this, like a bobby pin or something. And, you know, her cheeks, the way her little cheeks, when she's laying down, they kind of just fold onto the bed or whatever because they're real fluffy and real soft. And just, oh, right here that I love so much. But, oh, I just love that. And this is, um, I asked him, you know, about each piece because I wanted to tell you each artist, I love how they have their different style, different, you know, that is what just makes it for me. Um, so let me get to it here. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, the pup was pen and ink drawing. So just... I love it, and this is definitely getting framed too, and maybe put on the mantle with my other picture of Bridget, or maybe in my bedroom, but um, I just love it. So, okay, I'm gonna stand up, and I'm gonna do my outfit of the day, and then I'm gonna show you the, the other two pieces. And these two pieces I have planned from the beginning to put in my kitchen on that back wall, um, that you can, it's like when you come in my front door and you walk right to even right there, you can see that wall because my house is so open. And so that is why everything I bought in there was going off of these pictures. Okay, and so let me get back to, so he sent me the picture of Sophia and I was like, oh, that's great, yes. And so what I did, I just sent him some names of people that John and I both love, things that meant something to us. 
And so I can't, I can't remember every one, but I can remember I kept on thinking of different people and different movies and different models and stuff that I really loved and that I found inspiring or some, in some way meant something to us. And so I can remember saying Angelina Jolie, um, Bridget Bardot, of course, I like the Sophia Loren. Um, at the time, I was watching Ray Donovan. Um, you know, gosh, who else? Um, I don't know if I told him this one or if I told, an, it was another artist I was talking about, um, Mad Men. You know, um, what is his name? John Hamm. Um, uh, the main character on there. I can't remember now, but oh, uh, I just, and that is what, to me, I have more of a crush on characters more than I do the person. Like I love George Clooney and Ocean's Eleven and The American, but you know, George Clooney, George Clooney, I mean, that's not, you know what I mean? It's like, not like I have a crush on him. It's just, I love the characters that these actors and actresses play sometimes. So he kind of went from there. And then he did like a preliminary drawing and kind of got it approved and then, you know, it's here, so I just got it Wednesday. I was so scared I wasn't gonna be here to sign for it, so I'll be right back. Okay, so we'll get this out of the way. Um, this is one of the dresses that I showed you guys when I did my great big dress haul, and I can't remember where I got this one from, but I will put the link down below, but it is the navy blue um, with the, whoops, with the slit in the front, and um, let's see, I guess you would consider it like midi style, and um, I have on these shoes, which are my Prada shoes that I have just, I have these, the black ones need to be repaired. I have just about worn these out. And so my mission is to find us some other shoes that look similar to this. I love the slingback. I love the cool heel, the cork. Um, I've just worn these shoes to death. So um, this is my outfit of the day. Okay, here we go. So these are my two uh, pieces of artwork that are going to hang on the wall in my kitchen and these are originals and I'm going to do show you one at a time this is Bridget of course and the writing at first when he sent it to me um, goodness let me look at it real quick hold on okay I finally found it so here it is one of the rough drawings that he first sent me and it says I hope you can see it and it says in God created woman which I love that and what he decided to do is put that in French which I thought was so cool and I love like the red writing I'm gonna put some red accents even if it's keeping red roses on my table in there and I want you to look at the detail. This is an original drawing. And um, let me see what he told me exactly what it was. Okay. It says the Sophia is a canvas print and you're da 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 da. Okay. The, uh, two, the two big pictures are acrylic paintings on prime stretched canvas. And so it looks like this on the back. And I love the way it's painted, even on the side, so you don't have to worry about framing it. And, I mean, just look at the detail. Just love it. Okay, now let me show you the brew, of course, and you guys know why I picked Bridget. She's one of my beauty icons. And then this is our Bruce Willis. And this is from the movie Die Hard. yippee ki -yay. <laughs> You guys remember that line. And it's so funny, when I told you guys that I just love stars, and it was when I had gotten the stars on my fingernails, and I've, I've got stars all over the place. And he said he was actually working on the star at that moment. And one of the reasons this is significant, besides liking Bruce Willis, is this is who John gets told the most he looks like. With me, when someone says, have you ever been told you look like, I just know it's gonna be Suzanne Summers. With John, that's, you know, anytime somebody says, you look like, we just know it's going to be Bruce Willis. I mean, he's got lighter features, but his face is shaped a lot like him. And um, we just like Bruce Willis. We love his movies. And um, so this was perfect. And I loved that it was like after a movie, it was just perfect. So, and I love the colors that he used, the writing, 
everything. I just couldn't be happier. So the good thing is he sent me a link this morning to his website and he has made, I, he asked me if it was okay and of course it is. He has made prints like this from mine and he is selling those on his website. And um, so I will put his link down below and then I'm sure he is, you know, if you wanted to work with him on something individual for you, like say, you know, you loved Marilyn Monroe or, I, I thought this was neat. I was thinking about this this morning when I was getting ready. I would love to know from you guys, who is your beauty icon? Like I think we all have someone and i think that's neat how it's unique like you guys know i love angelina i love so many i love so many different kinds of looks um but tell me who your beauty icon is and like if you were to pick somebody who you would pick i just think that's interesting guy or girl so anyway so thank you so much to elliot and kathy i've just in such a dark week that was a bright spot and I can't wait to get everything, all of my different artwork. All of it is so different. I love it all. And I hope to have everything up and do a video next week. So I'm sure I have forgotten something, but I will be back. And I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Um, don't forget to leave me a comment and subscribe, please. And um, I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.